Hi, this is Jamie Steinberg with Starry Constellation Magazine. I appreciate you guys taking your time to chat about this incredible series. Amy, I have to ask, what is it about Elena that makes her so untrustworthy? <laughs> Doesn't everyone see it? No. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, I think it's hard for anyone to win Tori's trust, but this girl who's coming in and, you know, stumbling over some of her answers is definitely not not getting on her good side from the get go. So. Well, I think uh, Warren would disagree that there's quite a lot of intrigue to <laughs> Elena. What is it about her? that makes Matthew like, yep, she's perfect for looking after and sort of getting my son out of his shell. Yeah, I mean, she's just so different. I mean, she's such a breath of fresh air, not only in this world, but I'm, I believe in the nannies he was seeing come in. And this is a man who's very quietly grieving while also trying to protect and, and help his son heal and move forward. There's something about Elena, I used this word earlier, she just comes in and she's ballsy and she's just, it's the way she handles herself. And then once he sees them together and he sees her and Jasper together, I think it's one of the first times that he's able to take a breath and think maybe things are going to be okay. You know, maybe this is the, the thing. And then, you know, because of that, maybe he overlooks all these red flags that Tori seems to be seeing or, or feeling. Um, because I think at the end of the day, you know, we all see what we want to see. Emily, I think the show is so well cast. I think everybody plays their part so beautifully and so nuanced. How involved were you when it came to casting the show? Um, well, I came on um, after the the pilot had uh, mostly the main characters had had been cast, and I um, was more involved with sort of casting some of the other um, you know supporting characters, Alex and Kim. Darcy and Bennett, um, you know, uh, some of the other um, characters that we meet down the road. Um, and that was pretty fun because like you never quite know what the chemistry is going to be like. Um, and, uh, you know, especially when you're casting two people as sisters, like, you know, I, I get really like finicky about things like, well, these two people don't look related or like this can't be this person's parent because you've got two blue eyed parents. You can't cast a brown eyed child. Like I get into like Mendelian genetics, like it, it, like no one wants to listen to me. It's <laughs> not the most annoying person ever. But like, I do think it's, it is important to like, you know, feel that authenticity and feel like, oh yeah, I believe this person in this setting. Um, and uh, everyone was very like, you know, nimble and, you know, great and patient with us as we were in a first season show, sort of feeling our way through the dark. You know, you don't, you don't have the luxury of being like, well, we know this character because we've been with them for three seasons. It's, you know, we're, everyone's new. Um, and, you know, everyone's sort of just meeting each other. And it's, it was a real credit to the actors that they, they really made it feel like, I mean, it, it felt like you were just peeking through a crack in the door into somebody's real life. I mean, there is such a darkness to the cinematography as well. And I think that plays into the themes and helps guide viewers along as well. Was that an important aspect for you as well to make sure these scenes had a dark tone to them as far as lighting, as far as visual effects as well? Um, yeah, and I think I actually, yes, it was very important um, to us to create that atmosphere um you know where this the the luxury comes up against the sort of the danger and the sort of like underbelly of all this beauty um and uh you know metaphorically to have this beautiful building on top of this terrifying basement is um you know that's a metaphor for basically everything um and uh but yeah our cinematographer and our director um, on the pilot, Jeffrey Reiner did just a beautiful job of establishing, um, you know, this this real depth and complexity to the space. Um, it felt real and it felt rich and it felt like real New York apartments that I've seen. I mean, it's bigger, uh, but 
it's, uh, I think another thing that really contributed to that was sound design and our, our composer um, just made a, a beautiful like sound backdrop to the world that, you know, I think, you know, to me, it's, that's the thing that makes something really eerie, you know, like something like The Shining or something like Rosemary's Baby, like you're just the distant sound of, of someone playing a piano somewhere, somewhere else in the building is terrifying. <laughs> Warren, I'd be remiss if I didn't say how wonderful that masquerade ball plays out on screen. Talk about if that was maybe one of your favorite moments from filming, or if that was maybe a, a more difficult scene for you guys to film, because there's so many parts to play and intricacy that everyone plays in that scene. Yeah, I mean, I think we all enjoyed it. You know, when you get that kind of, first of all, Amy, I think you said earlier, what we you get to play dress up, you know, for a couple of days, and that's always fun. But that when you, you know, when we all show up and we're in our costumes and and these different things, you're immediately transported there, and then you get to play within it. And it was the intricacies for us seeing how the camera was going, how how it was going to bring the viewers into it, and then playing along within it. Um, I think we all had a blast and like you know a lot of people were there for it and you know you feel like you're in a party like you know for a day and, and it was it was it's rare to do something like that I think and so I think we all uh appreciated just kind of how fun you know for lack of a better term it really was well Amy the whole series I find so fascinating it's so deep and so intriguing there's so much suspense to it, I think, as Emily said, every part, whether it's lighting, whether it's cinematography, whether it's the wonderful acting you all do, makes the series so intriguing. Is that what you think is going to make it such a fast fan favorite show? Oh, I, I hope that's true. Um, yeah, we that's that's was really, I think, what drew all of us to it is that it is this beautiful mashup of all of these genres and like Emily said, the way Jeffrey shoots it and all of the details that just really draw you in and keep you wanting to know answers and wanting to know more. And um, yeah, it feels like there's something for everyone, you know, if you are scared of, of horror or scared of not horror, but of um, supernatural or get too anxious with thrillers then you get a break with the love story and you get you know there's a, there's some there really is something for everyone and I, I think that's what's going to be exciting about the show is it's something different that people haven't seen this maybe it's this many things in one show and the way the writer Emily was able to do it and make it all work so seamlessly is is going to be fun for people to get to experience. <laughs> There's a lot of seams that you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all so much for your time. I really appreciate the insight into this beautiful series. And on a side note, how gorgeous is Amy as a blonde? Oh, God. <laughs> talk about it a lot. Talk about it a lot. I mean, she could play a 20 year old in her next role. <laughs> and this is my favorite interview ever. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so right. much thank you Jamie right, thank you.